So let's continue uh, from lesson one and learn how to add more content to our page. Start to understand more about HTML tags. So the first thing I want you to understand is how white space is treated in HTML. Um, so here's the page that we worked on before. I'm going to change it just a little bit. Let's say first line. All right, let's actually, let's say this is the first line, All right? Let's save this, refresh the page, and we see that. All right, so let's say I now want a second line. So this makes sense to me that these should show on two different lines. But if I save it and refresh, you'll see that they both show on the same line. This is because HTML does not understand white space. Does not, matter of fact, it doesn't matter how many blank lines I put in here. If I put multiple blank lines and refresh and look again, we have the exact same thing. So how do we control where we display things on the page? This is something that we will have to learn about in bits and pieces. So here's the first part of this lesson. If I want to force uh, a new line, all right, so in order to force a new line in your content, use the break element. And break is one of the elements that does not have a closing tag. And so you can put it this way, or sometimes you will see it written this way, but you only need one or the other. All right, so let me demonstrate this. If I go over here and I put break, refresh this page, you'll see now we have this content showing on two different lines. So this is the way you can control um, and I can even, let's say I put break here. So I don't have to put every single line on a new line of content in my file. So this is very important to understand the cause and effect. You do something in your code and it has some effect on what you view on your web page. All right. Now, one other thing I want to show us while we're here, this is going to be a really short lesson, is that you have to pay attention to syntax here. And so um, notice, for example, if I, I'm going to mess up something on purpose, right? So now this opening tag is not correct. Um, and you see the red here. This is the benefit of using a smart text editor is that it's trying to explain to you that there is a problem. So anytime you are seeing red in here, make sure to um, pay attention to it. So for example here, suppose I don't remember what the break key looks like and I try to guess at it. All right, so when I refresh this page, I don't have a break there. So this is why you have to, before you, you show your page, you have to have um, an expectation of what is going to happen. And if that's not what happens, then you need to go and examine your code and your syntax more clearly to make sure you haven't made a mistake. And again, anytime you're seeing red like this, this is the editor here trying to tell me that there is a problem, All right? So let's go fix this. Okay, so let's do one more thing real quickly here is understand the paragraph tag. So usually instead of just having content kind of floating here on the page, I usually enclose it in a paragraph. Now, if this is a paragraph, then I have to put, this is the opening of the paragraph tag. This is the closing of the paragraph tag. Um, it's not going to view any different uh, in this case. Well, we do get some extra space in here, 
because this is considered a paragraph. So if we change all these to paragraph tags, and notice, here's where you have to be careful because the editor is trying to help me, but I've already written some of this content, so that's not where I want this closing tag to go. I want the closing tag to go here, and then I've got a break, and then I might want another paragraph here. And I save and refresh and you'll see that uh, there's some formatting that happens between paragraphs that allows me to space my content out a little bit more um, again if I just type let's just put a whole bunch of stuff in here so we can see what will happen with the long paragraph okay and now we can see and depending on the width of my web page is going to determine how that information, how that line, that text flows within that page. So we now understand the paragraph tag and we understand how to force um, new lines. Now, because these are paragraphs, if I actually take out the breaks, I don't really need the breaks right now because paragraphs are breaks between content. So that is the other way to control moving content to a new line is to make sure that it is a new paragraph. So now the tags that we understand, now we understand we have to always have our HTML page, our head section, the body section, and in this particular case now, the body of my web page consists of three different paragraphs. We'll add more tags as we go along.